Hi. So in this video, what we're going to look at is how to calculate time, distance and speed, but when we're not dealing with whole hours. So the first thing we need to worry about is what we do when we're given something like 15 minutes, 30 minutes or 45 minutes. So the first thing we need to do is convert it into how much of an hour that actually is. So it's going to be a decimal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write up what those three things are and then we're going to use them in our calculations. So firstly, we've got 30 minutes and it's half an hour. That decimal is going to be something. Same for 15 minutes and same for 45 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write these up and you're going to try and remember these, okay? There. We've got 15 minutes is actually 0 0.25 hours, 30 minutes is 0 0.5 hours, and 45 minutes is 0 .0 0 0.75 hours. So when it comes to using calculations for speed, distance, and time, we cannot use hours and minutes in the same calculation. We need to have either all in hours or all in minutes, and it's much easier to have it all in hours than to have all in minutes in terms of units. Okay? So what I've done is I've put up on the right-hand side a reminder of the formulas we need. Distance equals speed times time, speed equals distance divided by time, and time equals distance divided by speed. So we look at example one, saying distance equals 40 miles, and time equals two hours, 30 minutes, and we're calculating the speed. So the first thing we need to do is convert the time into decimal hours, and then use the calculation, okay? So remember that 30 minutes is 0 0.5 hours, so time is going to be Two hours, so two hours, 30 minutes is going to be 2.5 hours. So I'm going to do the calculation and I'll come back and talk. So there we have, first of all I changed the 2 hours 30 minutes into 2.5 hours which I got from knowing that 30 minutes is just 0.5 in an hour and then I used the speed formula, distance divided by time, 40 divided by 2.5 and then that gave us 60 using my calculator and the units of speed for this case are miles per hour because the units of distance were in miles and the units of time was in hours. Okay? So I'm going to do the same thing for example too and I'll come back and talk. So there what I did was I converted the 3 hours 45 minutes into 3.75 hours and then I used the formula for distance, which is speed times time. Speed is 3 point, eh, sorry, the speed is 50 kilometers per hour and the time is 3.75 hours. I've got them the wrong way around when I've done them, but it comes out the same answer. And so then 3.75 times 50 gives us 187.5 kilometers and that is kilometers because the units of speed are kilometers. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing for the third one, but there's something slightly different to do the end, and also I'll fix that for the second one.
So the first thing I did was I fixed the uh, example two. It comes out the same answer, but just to make it neat and have it in the correct way. So in case anyone's confused, I swapped them around and then I moved on to example three. So we're asking for the time. So what we're doing is time equals distance divided by speed. I know the distance is 150. I know the speed is 60. So I do 150 divided by 60 using my calculator. That gave me 2.5 hours. It's not really how we would want to leave the answer, but we know that 0.5 of an hour is just 30 minutes. So then I can rewrite the 2.5 hours as two hours and 30 minutes. So that is how we can calculate time, distance and speed using quarter and half hours, okay?